And we're back. Let's go ahead and get this prefix list applied. And we're going to do that with the neighbor command. So let's go under router BGP123 neighbor 2. And we want to put prefix list, filter updates to and from this neighbor. And there it is. So let's go ahead and put prefix list. Then it's going to ask you, of course, for the name. And you've got to say whether it's filtering inbound or outbound updates. So we could have gone to two and three and tried to filter the incoming, but it was much more efficient to go to router one and filter the outgoing. So let's go ahead and put out. And that's the end of our options. And now let's go down to three or put the same statement in for three. We'll do a soft clear. I got tired, I couldn't type that T. And, ta-da, it's already been filtered. Let's go to three, so we can look at them side by side, do the exact same thing. And you can see this is exactly what we wanted. 16, 17, 18, 19, they're all gone, but the network five is still there. So we met all the requirements and we're done. Let's go up and do a little verification though. I wanna show you a show command on router one. Show IP prefix list. And if you have a lot of prefix lists on there, if you've got a router that's running BGP big time and you've got you know 50 prefix lists, you can always put the word on there or uh, do a summary or detail. But here, we just did show IP prefix list. It shows you the name of it, shows you how many entries, and notice the sequence numbers, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and that is the default. So let's put those into action next. We're gonna go back to router five, and we're going to add, hmm, let's see what we got. I believe it's 55, 555. Make sure it's there, yep, there we go. So let's go B, router BGP5 network almost and let's hop over to router one and see if we see that one yet and we do and there it is valid and best now routers two and three are they gonna see it router two sees it and it's valid and best because of the next top statement we put in earlier and show IP BGP, there it is. And what were the requirements of the lab when we went over in the last video? One of them was, uh, you know, let it see anything that we add in the future. So, so far, so good. Routers two and three see the network valid and best. Everything's fine. Now, more word comes down from on high. It says, oh, wait a minute. I meant for you to filter that network 55 as well, the one you just added. So now we got to go back to router one. Router one, here we go, let me move that up a little bit, just slip, there we go. So now those sequence numbers really come in handy. Because we know that if we put a deny 55555 slash 32 right here, and we do not put a sequence number in, what's gonna happen? It's gonna be put at the bottom of the list. It's gonna go to sequence 30. And that won't do us any good because sequence 25 is permit everything. So, we need to use our sequence numbers here. Nothing to it though. IP prefix list. Really? This is getting silly. There we go. Net 5. And now you need to put SEQ in for the sequence number. And then you put the actual sequence number. It'll really work in this case as long as it's lower than 25 and it's not being used by any other uh, sequence or any other statement. So what I would do here though, I wouldn't make it sequence 24 necessarily, because then if you came back and you needed to put something in between this line and 25, you wouldn't have room to do it. So I always go from the middle ground. It's, it's not a requirement, but I'm gonna do 23 here and then do a deny 55555 slash 32. And we'll run show IP prefix list to verify. And you can see right there it is, there it is, sequence 23. So it worked perfectly fine. And we'll do a quick clear. Seriously, thank goodness for sequence numbers. <laughs> 
those of you who had to live in a world without sequence numbers, you didn't miss much. Here's show IP BGP, and you'll notice the network 55 is now being successfully filtered there. Apologies, we're going to move that back so that doesn't happen anymore. And we'll go to 3, show IP BGP, and there's the network. So it is a beautiful thing. And again, prefix list, not limited to BGP usage, but the more you use BGP, the more you will be using them. That concludes our look at prefix lists. We've got more BGP coming up next.